Hey everybody and welcome back to Rock the Classical. I'm your host, Ben. I hope you recognize me. I did get a haircut and if you ask me, I think it looks pretty dashing. I also got some green tea here. This is called Passion Fruit Matcha and it's by Yogi. And I got my buddy Buddha. He's lighting up a storm here. And then I got Carnival Cake Candle. We're going to dive right into Cherny. I hope you guys did your practicing. We're going to be working on exercises one through three. Let's head to the sheet music and let's iron out any things that could be an issue. All right. For exercise one, let's skim through this with my pencil. Don't do what I did here. This is um, pen. Never write on sheet music with pen because obviously you can't get rid of it. Stick to a pencil. Now, I crossed that out. That was originally 78 BPM, which this was from, you know, when I was practicing it before and I was doing it at slower tempos. So once again, we're at moderato and that's around 80 to 84 BPM. We're going to play 84 for this exercise in particular. It sounds pretty good. By the way, the name of this, I don't know, this opus is 100 Umbungstuk. I hope I said that right. If there's any Germans, you can correct me on that. Or it might be Austrian. I don't know. Um, so you can see right here, C. Cherny, Opus 139, Volume 1. Okay, so make sure you have the right one, obviously. Now, for exercise one, let's go through line by line. So, as you can see, you have these little numbers above. And I mentioned before that these are your finger positionings. So your thumb is your, your first finger, and your pointer is your second, your third is your middle finger, um, your ring finger is your four, and your pinky is your five. And that works for the left hand as well, just in reverse. So for this one, you know, you're starting with your third, your fourth, five, Everything's pretty straightforward. Make sure you look at these staccato dots, though. These are important because that gives it some accents, makes it feel more or less robotic and more of like a you know an actual feel to it, like a song. Now, and watch for the rest on four. Now, when you go to the second line, this is where it gets a little tricky. He did this on purpose. Like I said, you're trying to build dexterity and finger strength. So you're playing the B and the D with your one and your three finger. But then for the second bar, so that stays normal, but for the second bar, you're going to have two and four playing the C and the E. But then the second quarter note, half note I should say, is a one and three. Same thing goes for the D and the F sharp. It starts with the two and four. The second half note is one and three. Now here, pay attention because you're going to bring this out, this chord here, for two, um, two beats, which is going to cover these two notes. But when you do these, I circle them, I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of like a little mini solo. There's no sound here. So the F and the G are by itself. And then here... You have a two and three. This is the main melody from up here. But you're starting on your second finger instead of your third. So it's a different positioning. It's a little tricky, but once you get it, you'll have it. And then the same thing, it ends the same way. And just watch out for that rest at the end on the fourth beat. Okay, so now for exercise two. This is at Allegretto. We're going to play this at 100 BPM. The big thing about this one is staccatos. These little dots are staccatos. So make sure you pay attention to those. The big, you know, the trickiest thing about this piece in particular is actually the quickness of the chords, your left hand chords, especially this one. You got to be pre prepared for these. Because these notes are moving quickly and you have you know simple half notes which is not a big deal but you want to land on each you know you want the chord to ring with the the corresponding note you want that to sound right and tight so 
pay attention to that. Get a half note here to end that line. Now down to line two. All staccato is right here. It's almost like a bounce. So, you know, you bounce off these, bounce off these, second line, second bar, I should say. And then on the third bar, you have one here, staccato. It's kind of like you bounce off that note. And then you draw these out a little longer, right? And then these, it's not going to be like these. It's the same notes, but you're going to draw these out a little longer. And make, give it a different feel. And that's pretty much it for exercise two. All right, so for exercise three, we are back at the tempo moderato. But instead of 84, like the first exercise, we're going to play it at 80 BPM. I think it just sounds a little better, and it's a little easier for beginner people. We don't want to go too quickly, because these eighth notes here move pretty quickly. Down here, I circled it, legato. So these notes, you want to draw them out. You want to make them nice and spacious sounding, right? Like a gentle walk. And there's really not much to say about this. Just make sure when you get down to here, you have the repeat sign. So you're going to come from here, back up to here, come through. Then you're going to start here. The F, G, F, G. Make sure you're watching your finger numbers as well with this one. Now for page two, it's back up here. Um, yeah, there's really not much else to say. The only thing that was a little tricky for me initially was jumping from C to C. So it's an octave. So one, two, three, do your five finger there, your pinky. And you should be good with that. Let's get to playing them now. One, two, three, four.
two, three, four. So that about does it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sure you enjoyed learning about Carl Cherney. I had actually a lot of fun with this guy and I'm going to continue on moving through the opus. I think there's actually a lot to offer as far as like we talked about finger strength and finger dexterity. I think his stuff can really offer that to us as pianists. But for now, for the video and the channel's sake, let's move on to another composer. Subscribe to Rock the Classical to see who's going to come out next. We always need to grow as musicians, so do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button to build your piano skills. My name's Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.